The Miami Dolphins offense fired on all cylinders in their Week 10 showdown with the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. The eruption of scoring from the Dolphins is not only impressive and entertaining as hell to watch but also historic. According to Jake Trotter of ESPN, quarterback Tua Tagovailoa joins Dan Marino as the only signal callers in Dolphins history with three or more passing touchdowns in three straight games. This recent stretch for Tagovailoa is undoubtedly a feel-good story. Considering how the early part of the 2022 NFL season had gone for the former top five NFL draft choice. Concussion issues dating back to a game in Week 3 against the Buffalo Bills and again in a Thursday night game against the Cincinnati Bengals in Week 4 saw the former Alabama lefty winner go down in one of the scariest exits from a sporting event in recent memory. Tugavailoa did not see the field again until a Week 7 primetime win over the Pittsburgh Steelers, still, despite the head injury woes. The Dolphins are undefeated in every game Tugavailoa has started and finished healthy. In seven games, Tugavailoa has totaled 1980 passing yards to go with 15 touchdowns and only three interceptions, according to Pro Football Reference. Any time a player is mentioned in the same breath as a Hall of Fame quarterback like Dan Marino, it's a good sign something is working. With the 39-17 win on Sunday, the Dolphins improved to a record of 7-3 in the 2022 NFL season and increased their chances of reaching the playoffs for the first time since 2008. But can Tua Tagovailoa and the Dolphins' offense keep up the firepower? However, everyone will still talk about Josh Allen as the premier quarterback in the division. That's despite Tua Tagovailoa possessing far more impressive numbers. Tagovailoa was drafted one pick before Justin Herbert in the 2020 NFL Draft. Yet, over the last two and a half years everyone has believed Herbert to be the far superior player, well, through 10 weeks this season, Tugavailoa has been by far the best quarterback among the three. Allen tossed two more interceptions Sunday. Herbert turned it over twice himself. Meanwhile, Tugavailoa continues to absolutely prove people wrong, he tossed for 285 yards with three touchdowns and no interceptions. The last time he threw a pick was Week 4 versus the Cincinnati Bengals. During that time, Allen and Herbert have combined for 12 interceptions, but it's not just the ability to limit turnovers that has brought Tua Tagovailoa to the MVP conversation. He has not lost a game this year that he started and finished. He's 7-0 in those circumstances and is remarkably 15-1 in his last 16 starts, outside of being knocked out of the Bengals game. That's an incredible statistic that most don't realize or don't want to acknowledge. Football pundits still talk about Allen, Herbert, and of course Patrick Mahomes as the elites in the game. But at some point, the quarterback that wins at the highest rate, with the best statistics behind it, needs to be recognized.